eventually it's gonna wear off. I wouldn't mind not having a top, but occasionally it's a problem either with pets or whether possibly a weather Yeah, I asked them if they wanted for me to wash it again, like before they took it. Because I asked them they said I couldn't keep it, that they were going to come get it. Um, but, um, well, they said no. And then, for a record, for my personal record, this other one also has um, wear and tear damage. And it's a used can. I say it's not new. Just, I think this is important just in case there be no misunderstandings no confusions and well, a bunch of zeros and some numbers I think zeros are uh, very important numbers um, and by the way you know how it says here no hot ashes from time to time we put some from the little pit but not hot and I make it clear not hot if it were in any way true that the ashes were hot then the bucket would be melted or something the trash bin so as you can see this was still being service serviceable the damage itself on the trash bin was the fact that about the lid no longer has a lid and the extreme damage but from how the trash bin is handled by the garbage trucks or bah, damage done by the garbage trucks when it's handled as they pick up the trash but the other than that we'll keep on like washing and cleaning and using it but um should that not have been a controversy would we'll probably be continued um with the use of it but um in remembrance of mom 
think it was the right thing to insist and these clarifications too let it be known we did not maliciously cause damage to this trash bin it's been over explained regarding what the trash lid and the damage on the wear and tear it was not by us it was the garbage trucks and again i say it's false that we put hot ashes on any trash bin should that have been true there would have been trays or holes or something of that being melted let it be known so yes hello from fabens texas in good faith yes again me janet mother of diego daniel armenta and of juan ulises yes good day